Have you ever noticed a water cycle? The sun heats the water from the Earth's surface. The water evaporates into the sky to form clouds. The clouds then drift over to the mountains. Here, the air becomes too cold for the moisture to be retained. The clouds then condense and rain falls. The water then returns to the land and forms river. The water and the river then run into the lake or sea or ocean. How the cycle causes itself to happen again and again? The cycle is said to be recursive. Now such methods and functions in computing words we call itself over and over again is called recursive functions and the process is known as recursion. For example, let us have a method named sum with the return type int and within the body let's have the statement return sum hey minus one. This method keeps calling itself over and over. The process of recursion continues infinitely, and that is why to determine where the recursion needs to break, we put a stopping condition where the recursion stops. So here, we put a stopping condition if a is equal to equal to zero, return zero. That is, here the recursion stops when the parameter a is zero. Recursion is used to make the code shorter and efficient, and thus reduce the time complexity and runtime. Check out other animated videos in the series. Don't forget to get a look at our channel and subscribe for more. Stay tuned and take care.